thought you were doing another test recording. No. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to episode number 26 of the Good Point Bro podcast. My name is Caden. This is my little brother, Cameron. Bigger brother. It's my little brother, Cameron. <laughs> Thanks for joining today's episode. We know you're going to love it, so please, please, please go ahead and like, comment, hit that subscribe button. As you guys know, we're growing. It's getting bigger. By the way, I was looking at our shorts views. Yeah. And I was looking at that dude that follows us on TikTok, and I went to his YouTube podcast. They're on episode like 47 or something. His shorts get like half the views we do. Really? Yeah. That's hype. Which he only has like 500 subs too. Yeah, we have what, 182? Yeah. It's probably not a good thing that we know the exact number, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is a good thing. That means we follow it and we care about it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess there's a problem with that. Two ways to look at it. Yeah. Dang, bro. I need to sit up. I'd be looking fat on the episodes. Yeah, I know. My face looks like I'm 300 pounds. Because you got to sit up tall. You got to be yourself. <laughs> That's not what I can do. We gotta the get beard is couch. getting long, too. Yeah. I need, no to, shave I need to trim it up. No, I'll shave every November. But, all right, guys. We're going to start. Let's just start in the NBA. Also, if you're watching this uh, episode 25, it just went live. Okay. Um, this like 15 minutes ago. That was a good one, I think. We had no like notes or anything. Yeah, yeah. Did it. Seemed good. So if you haven't seen that and you're watching this, go ahead and go back and watch this after this one. Finish this one. And then go watch that one. Or watch that one first and then watch this one. I guess I really don't care what order you do it in. But let's go ahead and start out in the NFL. Um, We've got a lot to get to today. we got a lot of topics in the NFL, a lot in the NBA. We're going to talk about the World Series a little bit. Um, And then we got some – it is Halloween, as you can see behind me. 1031 so we're going to talk a little bit about that um and that'll be it for today's episode so again if you like the nfl we're going to start there if you don't scroll to what you do um so yeah we're going to start out with the packers josh i know you're watching it's getting rough um and i think we're seeing so i saw this meme and it was lightning mcqueen in cars three and the black guys like going really fast and he like slows down and he's like and it had uh tom brady and aaron Rodgers on it Uh, and i kind of made me sad because it's like lightning mcqueen he's like just doesn't have it anymore and all the cars like he's like yeah it's like for nothing i don't i feel like that with tom brady not that he's playing bad i just think man you just got to know when to hang it up but i think aaron Rodgers has a few years left i just don't yeah yeah i think his team sucks i think aaron Rodgers is fine but yeah the top tom brady bro like your you family just toss is your family, yeah, to go three and five, yeah, or whatever their record is. I just think you got to know even they're as, three and five, yeah, yeah. Even as a comp- they lost again this week, Thursday. Oh, well, you just got to know as like when to hang it up, and I think last year was the perfect time to hang it up because you still made the playoffs, almost beat the Rams, who ended up winning the Super Bowl. I mean, even as he's like one of the most competitive people ever, he should know when to hang it up. And not just drag it out. You don't want to just drag it out a few years and have just an awful ending to your career. Right. Yeah, it sucks. And really now sucks. he's divorced, which I predicted. Yeah, flashback. I literally predicted that. And it's almost exactly mid-year yeah. right now. I said in mid-season, they're going to get divorced. Yeah. And I was so serious when I said that. And I was like, please don't say that. And here yeah. it happened. So that's the prediction of Good Point Bro so far. That was a good one. I'm saying out of all the predictions we've had, that's why that, that one's yeah. Because at the time it was pretty like, I said Tom Brady's gonna have the worst year of his career, which I'm not saying he's playing bad. I don't know how his numbers stack up to 2019, which he didn't have a good year, but I'm sure it's similar. And then I said they would be divorced mid year, and that would be like the worst year for Tom Brady. Yeah. Yeah, man, that sucks. I think well, you're right. I mean, and I I don't got the Bucks or the Packers making the playoffs, so. Uh, I'm sorry. But yeah, that was basically the, are the Packers and Bucks done? I don't think they I don't think the Packers are done. Yeah, I wouldn't say the Packers are done. Um, I think they have a shot, but I, the Bucks are. I think the Bucks are done. And they and what sucks about the Bucks, the only reason that the Bucks might make the playoffs is their division has become the NFC East. They're terrible. Their their division, like I think the Panthers are 2 and 5 and they're playing for number 1 yet by this week. How does Tom Brady always get into the worst division in football? When he was at the Patriots, <laughs> they were the worst division. It's in like football. the his division is the Bucks, Panthers, Saints, and Falcons. 
That is the worst division ever. Yeah. Like when he yeah, like I said, when he was at the Patriots, their division was terrible. The Falcons are first. Imagine if the Bucks, Marcus Mariota. Imagine if the Bucks were in the AFC. They'd be a one win team. Like Tom Brady is so lucky that he's in the NFC this year. Because or else they'd have one win and have no shot of making the playoffs and they'd really be an embarrassment. Yeah, I don't so know, I don't know who their wins I mean, are. It's insane that they're three and five in that division in the NFC. There's and they really could, no excuse that's, for that. that's only re- like the Falcons are first. They're four and four. They're yeah. first in the division. And Marcus Mariota is their QB. I mean, he's not bad. But yeah, so I mean they're four and four. They should the, easily win that division. The the Falcons? No. Oh, the, the Bucks. Bucks. Yeah, yeah. They should. You'd yeah, think. Did you insane. see that draw by Mike Evans? Speaking of that, uh huh. You didn't. Mm-mm. Okay, so he's had a, he's had a bad year, bro. It's the worst job I've ever seen, Tommy. The guy, his defender falls twenty yards back, and he's just like jogging. Tom throws like this lollipop to him, like at the twenty. He would have just jogged into the end yeah. zone. He goes like this, perfect right over his shoulder. He like pops it up, and then he could have caught it again and like flicks it, and then it goes like way in front of him. What did Brady do? I think he just ran off the field. I think it was third down. Yeah, Brady's got like I just I like you said I feel bad for Tom Brady, just everything that's going on, him getting divorced, not having the year he wants. I mean, it's just like I, it's such an odd story, you know. Yeah. It's just weird. But and then you got the Panthers, which their QB, um, so they have Sam Darnold and Baker. They benched both because this dude actually won last night. Or yeah, last night he played re- he played pretty good. Um. And they ended up losing on a basically a mixed extra point. Watch this play. I was first down. Yeah, I think I did see that. He just chucked it. I mean, dude. And then like the the Lions, like create like I guess that wasn't much of a drop. He kind of dove for it, but still went straight through his hands. So it's still Mike Evans who's supposed to be one of the best receivers in mm-hmm. football, dropping these easy yeah. passes. But the Lions, bro, how many close games they've lost as a one loss team is remarkable it's yeah, like they're it like the same thing lose. last year you they are destined games? but like this year's even worse they're like their offense is good they drop they're dropping like 30 i i i like the detroit lions coach he's a dog which two went off against them too two yeah. went crazy so i'll pull that game up but two was 29 to 36 for 382 yards three touchdowns no interceptions speaking of two we can do that start bench cut yeah let me talk about the, the lines real fast though uh. So, the Lions have one win. They start the season by losing to the Lions, or the Lions, by losing to the Eagles by three, which is the best team in football, arguably. Then they beat the Commanders. They lose to the Vikings by four. They lose to the Seahawks by three. They get blown out by the Patriots. They lose pretty handedly to the Cowboys, and then they lose to the Dolphins by four. I mean, that's That's nuts. That's not really nuts because that's it is. how football is. No, you know why it's you nuts? You lose by one score all the time. That's yeah, but this is go. why it's nuts. 31-27, 48-45, 28-24, 38-35. They're dropping 35 and they're losing. I know, I'm just saying that. That's not normal, bro. There's no. There's not usually teams 1-6 and six and are 0-5 oh in, in close games. <laughs> they're not 0-5, oh they're 0-4. Oh oh but I'm just whatever. saying, like if you're if you're gonna win in the National Football League, you have to win close games. They can't cl- their defense can't close out games. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's not they're bad. I'm not saying they're good. I'm saying I personally haven't seen a team that's offensively top like eight and they're one in five because they give up forty points. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So basically, we're the reason Cameron said that we're doing a star bench cut. So, star bench cut, 2020 QB draft edition. So, we got Tua Tugavailoa, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Go ahead, Cam. So, I'm starting Joe Burrow. He's already been to a Super Bowl. He's starting to play a lot better. I'm going to bench. I'm going to bench Justin Herbert just because how talented he is and how big he is. And he has just such a good arm. And I'm going to cut Tua. I'm cutting Tua because I just think that those two guys have a higher peak than Tua. They're bigger. They have better arms. Joe Burrow's already led his team to a Super Bowl. <clears throat> but I think all the QBs are super talented and really good. It's just I think that out of those three, Tua is the worst. 
So I feel like two is finally starting to reach his full potential. Um, so that so anyway, I got Joe. I'm starting Joe Burrow. Um, he's proven. He's great. He's, he had a slow start to the season, but he really picked it up the last couple games. Um, I'm benching Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, he might just be a product of a good environment, but I think the Chargers have a great team as well. That's true. Um, and he didn't make the playoffs last year, which, you know, it's hard to say. Tua, was, Tua the reason that Tua doesn't, maybe doesn't have the edge is because he's injury prone. Um, he hasn't played as many games. Justin, he's smaller. He's a, yeah, he's yeah. smaller, but. For me, I just think that overall, just when you combine accuracy, I think his IQ might be a little bit higher. Um, and he, and honestly, the games he's played this year, he's a winner. Like, and, and even the games last year, like you can say, oh, that stretch was bad teams, and it was, but two, it just wins games. Like he just does. I don't know why, but he does. So, with that being said, I'm gonna bench two. It's talking about Loa. I'm gonna cut Justin Herbert, which is a outlandish thing to say like he's a top 10 QB like but with Justin Herbert I, I think the sky's the limit for the dude um I don't know if this year he's having a better year than last year maybe I'm just getting used to it that kind of happens you know like yeah. like if, if Patrick Mahomes was doing what this year for like the first year that he's ever done it obviously it would be insane and you just kind of get used to players like in their greatness like you see the same thing with like any yeah, great, like, like you just take it for granted or whatever. It's just part of who they are now. Yeah. They make those plays. So maybe I'm like that with Justin Herbert. I'll give you that maybe. But regardless, I'm just going to cut him. But I, I don't think it's like – it's not an easy – I don't think there's a wrong choice. Like, I, I'm, like, yeah, I think I'm saying, though, star, Joe, so star Joe Burrow and then the other two. It's really They're all three of them are super good young QBs. Yeah. So I don't think and there's really and go. The only thing I would say is that I definitely don't think that – you could start two over Joe Burrow yet. That would be. That's the thing. So that's that that's a good wild. argument because I think that between the two, if you were like, someone could make the argument start Justin Herbert, but I don't think anybody can make the argument start two. Yeah, I don't so, think. So that's a but that's because if Burrow or Herbert, I think Burrow's his ceiling weapons would. I don't. I think they'd be doing the same thing, even though Tua is winning. I mean, beat the Bills. Justin Herbert has some dogs. He really does. Like Which the Bills might win, lose only. Were they off this week? The Chargers be the, to Tua. I have no clue. Bro, ESPN makes me click on the Apple Music every single time I'm on the app, and it. I don't know if you guys have the ESPN app, or if the ads pop up, but the ad pops up in a weird spot, and then if you click a game above or a game below, it takes you to the ad. I swear they. I think they do it on purpose. I'm sure they do. But I, I don't think the Chargers played this week. Um, what is their record? Four and three. Who do they three? got next week? Or three and three? The Chargers play the Falcons next week. They're four and three. That's going to be a dub. And then I think Tua, I think, has Tua lost? No. Yeah, I don't think he's lost. Because the games that he was injured, they all they lost every single one of them. They, they I guess the he's I, he has one loss as a starter because he started the game, but yeah, but that was not he barely played. Yeah, it was the Bengals and they lost the following two weeks. He was out. Yeah, so they and that was, so they're five and three. They play the Bears next week. But I'm trying to find. They lost to the Seahawks by fourteen last their last game. What are you doing? I'm moving my laptop. Um. Me? I'm moving the laptop. Is what I was saying. Um, but yeah, the the Seahawks beat the Chargers by 14 their last game. In that game, Justin Herbert was 33 of 51. That's a lot of pass attempts. Yeah, I think they might yards, rely on Justin Herbert a little. Too two much. touchdowns and a pick. But if you throw 51 times without a pick, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty <laughs> like, good. <laughs> you got to throw one. I mean, jeez, they carried the ball uh, 15 times. Yeah, that's between four that's players. Race, He's three yeah. of them. Yeah. That's like the Bills. But Austin Eckler, he's a baller. 12, 12 receptions for 96 yards and a touchdown. But, yeah, I mean, he definitely doesn't have. And then Mike Williams is a, is a baller, too. He doesn't have uh, Jalen Waddle. Or Tyreek Hill is the or best Tyreek receiver. Hill. So he has 2,000 yards, 12 touchdowns, four picks for the year so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. 15 or 13th in QBR. 
I don't know. What, I think Tua isn't uh, qualified. I don't think he's qualified anymore. Unless he is after this week, which I really don't know. But I think that's all I had written down for the NFL. Is there anything you can think about? Mm, no. Just that I think that the Bills are probably going to end up with one loss on their season. I think they're going to yeah. go undefeated the rest of the way. That'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, Tua has 1,700 yards in two and a half less games. Or one and a half less games because Herbert had a bye, I guess. 12 touchdowns, so the same. Three interceptions, so less. And then he's first in QBR. Yeah. So. And that's but, why, like I said, I don't think you can go wrong with anything but just starting Tua. I don't think you could start him over those guys yet. Yeah. All you right. just need a bigger sample size. Well, let's move over into the NBA. Uh, Lakers started out own four, finally get their first win over the Denver Nuggets. Just a solid team to get a win over. They looked good. I mean, they looked they looked complete for some reason. They looked complete. I mean, I think Russell Westbrook, if like, let's just say they had the same starting lineup and Russell Westbrook coming off the bench, but they had a bunch of shooters, then I feel like they'd be one of the best teams in the league. It's just because the NBA is so much of how you shoot the ball. Can you shoot the ball? That's it. That's all that really matters right now. So if you had Russell Westbrook coming off your bench uh, with a bunch of shooters and you had LeBron and AD and a bunch of shooters, all you had was just 3 and D guys, then, yeah, you'd be a solid team. But, I mean, the win was nice, but you got to win at some point. And you're just not going to have enough shooting to be able to compete in the playoffs. So, yeah. like, to me, it doesn't really matter. You're going to have games like this where everybody's – where you might just luck out and everybody starts shooting well because they have some dudes on their team that can Because they scored 120 something. Yeah, they, they have some dudes on their team that can get hot from three, but they're not going to be consistent every single game. Yeah. And if one guy's not hot, the, uh, they don't have a guy that can just step up. Wasn't Corver on that, that Cavs team? In 2017, Kyle yeah. Corver? The one they lost, not the one they won. Hmm. Yeah, was they he? got better after they won. They had a better team, but, of course, the Warriors added Kevin Durant. Yeah. So, it didn't matter. Yeah, because I, I want to say the Cavs had one loss going into that finals, too, in 2017. Yeah, they did. They had one loss to the Celtics, and the uh, Warriors were undefeated going into the finals. Yeah, because it was – yeah, the Warriors were, what, 16-0? and 0? They were 12-0 and 0 going into the finals. They played three series. Oh, they, the they won game five? They lost, yeah. They, they lost won in game, game four, five, and they lost in, or they won in five against the Cavs. So they ended up okay. So sixteen to 16 one, sixteen to one, which was tied with the Lakers, and they went sixteen to one, which I said was overrated, <laughs> but I agree with that. I think the league was trash. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we won't get back into that one. But yeah, I mean, why not? I, I this is why I stand by it. I don't care. What is the Pelican ceiling for the year? To me, it's the finals. I think they could win the West because I think the West is a bunch of good teams, but there's not, like, a standout team this year in the West. Like, I think the Pelicans can compete with the Warriors, the Nuggets, the Clippers, all those teams. I think that they're all, like, the kind of equal in the Suns. I feel like they're all in, like, the same bubble. What about the uh, Mavs? Yeah, same with them. No, the Mavs can – the Mavs can – their ceiling is maybe the Western Conference Finals. Luka is going year. nutty. I know, but one person – Yeah, yeah, I'm it. with you, I'm with you. But um, yeah, so the Pel- you think the Pelicans could go to the finals? Yeah. If everybody stays healthy, I think they could go to the finals. But I, I would yeah. not pick them in the finals over the Celtics or Bucks. I would I have I would have them the losing in the year. um semis. That's their ceiling? Their ceiling's probably the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. But I, if I had to guess, where I think they'll win the first round. You think they could be at the Warriors in 7 for the Suns? Um, I guess I want I would have them playing a team like the Nuggets in, in the first round because I, I have them as like a four. So maybe they play the five or a three and a six or something. Well, the, I have them at – they're going to be a top three seed, I think. I mean, they the could Warriors be. I mean, are what, struggling I guess right I'll now. see what the record is. Yeah, the Warriors are off to a slow start. Obviously, I don't think that's going to last, but I can see the Pelicans being a top three seed easily. I mean, the West, I think, is a bunch of good teams. I don't know if really anybody stands out in the West. So they beat the Clippers by twenty one. What I'm assuming. What's the Clippers' record? Two and four. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard didn't play. 
John Wall had eight off the bench. <laughs> Paul George had 14 off five for 19 shooting. What's the Pelicans record? Four and two? Oh. <laughs> well, I woke up. Yeah, with, four and uh, two. I have a really sore throat. Larry Nance had 15 off My the bench. My throat's hurting really bad. And Zion had 21. What was his shooting? Nine for 17. Nothing crazy. And that's that's below average for him, yeah. efficiency wise. He shoots like sixty percent. Yeah, which is insane. And then no Brandon Ingram. And no Brandon Ingram. Mm-mm. I mean, yeah. Look, look. All these teams are gonna be able to compete. There's no team that stands out. I mean, and look is at like the fa- this like is the majority favorite. If Pelicans your starting like lineup play. scores like this every game, like you got Brandon Ingram, you got no Brandon Ingram and Zion who's ascending. I um. Mean, if they stay healthy, the sky's the limit for the Najee Pelicans. Marshall played for Brandon Ingram, and he dropped 17 off 7 for 13 shooting. And you got McCollum, who's a vet and can score. He dropped 22. Yeah. I so, mean, this is a, their starting good, five dude. dropped 21, 17, 11, 22, and 15. Yeah. That's really good. They're, they have super good depth, and they have two two stars. Now, their bench was bad. Okay, but they won the game oh, by yeah. 21 yeah. points. So Their bench had uh 26 combined points. So what uh, you think their ceiling is the Western Conference Finals? So you don't think they could beat a team like the Warriors or Suns in seven? Is that's what you're saying? I think if they do, then the the argument that we're saying that the NBA is just so competitive now and it's better is wrong. Why? Because that, that would prove us right. No, 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 we no, wouldn't. How? Because for there a team, are so many good young players for a who team are overtaking these older guys now. No, 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 no. for the team like the Pelicans. <laughs> To go to the finals is a travesty. I don't think – no, I think you're looking at it wrong. I think the game is different at, because they have depth and shooting and they have two stars and they play good defense. If you dropped a team like the Lakers right now, pres- presently constructed in 2010, they would be a top three seed in the West, top four seed in the West because shooting didn't matter as much and you just needed athletes that w- and, and superstars. The league is different now. You can't just have stars – LeBron doesn't know that. You. Huh? LeBron doesn't know that. You can't just have stars carry you. You have to have shooting and you have to have depth because the average NBA player is just better now. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I just think for those, so they, if they do get to the finals, can they win a finals? No, no, no. they're not beating the Bucks. It's another year like the Suns in the finals, and it's a six game series at best. Yeah, maybe. Well, I think and if the that's the argument. Better. I think it's the East then. Yeah, the East is better. Like a- any East, but any the West top would three, always win the finals. Any top LeBron won. It was the same thing. The West was way better than the East, and the only thing that to beat the West was LeBron. So it was the same thing. Until K- and KD just runs to the other side, wherever LeBron is, he just runs to the other side. If KD doesn't, my take is if KD doesn't go to the Warriors, the Cavs at least repeat, at least, and they have a shot to repeat. If KD doesn't go to the Warriors. Because I think the Cavs win the next year because they got better. And then who knows if they can they can three-peat. Yeah. So, I think KD, like, single-handedly. Maybe that's all he wanted. Maybe he didn't care about the titles. He just legacy. didn't want LeBron. <laughs> he didn't care about Did you see the stuff after the game about Kyrie with the anti-Semitic stuff? No. But I no, saw. No, 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 no. It's I not saw Kyrie's fault. I'm on. <laughs> Sorry, our dog's howling. I forgot to shut that door. I don't even know if they can hear it though. Yeah. <laughs> she howls at sirens. But anyway, I saw Kanye. I saw I saw Kanye post uh, Kyrie. So. Of course he did. <laughs> yeah, he's like, there's still good people out there. This is my thing. This is the problem because I I want to get into this. This is a problem with society right now. If I affiliate with one thing I like about somebody, I have to I have to like everything about them. I have to like every single thing about them. And it goes both sides, Republicans and Democrats, because I'll give you an example. If I say I like LeBron as a basketball player, now I have to identify with everything he says about politics and blah, 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 blah. Now I'm just an idiot because I like LeBron as a basketball player because you're saying that I have to affiliate with everything he says. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then the other side of it is – if I like oh, what Andrew Tate said about this one specific thing, then I have to like everything he says. I don't have to agree with everything he says. Right. But if I just say I like one thing he said, then I have to agree with everything he says. 
Right. You're putting they they just put people in boxes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. About just liking one thing and then you have to like everything about the person. And that's such a idiotic way of thinking. And that just boxes people in it it demotes creativity, I think. Well it's and someone it, like Kyrie, it's because what the narrative is is to identify with yes, something. It's identity politics. So it's if you're, bro. you're you need to be a Republican or a Democrat, you have to yeah. be one or the other. You can't have ideas in between. Right. And if you like one thing about one thing, then that that's who you are. You're affiliated with everything with that yeah. group. And it's there's danger. You have bro. to identify with your gender, your race. Yes. Everything has to be. You know why identity, they? You and know, it has to be known. You know why they do that? You know why they push that? Because you know what it pushes? Division. Communism. Okay, well. <laughs> no, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. No, that's fine. I do you so. know, but you know why it pushes communism, right? Because if you're you unequal, so let me equal for you yes. yourself. I know. And you, and then if and then if you're not equal, guess what we're gonna do? We're Bring gonna you kill down. you. Well, <laughs> that's what they did in the Soviet Union with Stalin. Stalin killed 20, 25 million people because if and a mo- most of them were farmers because if a farmer had more food than the government gave you, they would kill you. <laughs> so like the it's the far right like Hitler Hitler Germany is like the far right, and and we you can identify that easily and then the far left in his example like Stalin's Soviet Union where everybody had to be equal and if someone had more than you then you envy them and then you would just kill them or the government would kill them and that's what America is pushing it towards like that guy Fetterman that had the stroke and did the um that we were watching the debate. They were saying people were calling that out or whatever, like, dude, this guy's just not fit for office. He just had a stroke, and he can't form a coherent sentence. And they were saying it was ableist. Yeah. Because they don't want people to – they want everybody to be this, equal, and nobody that – like, their hierarchies aren't bad in society because it just pushes you to be better, to want to attain those things. And then that makes society better because then there's competition. Well, it's and that's bad why you have a freaking iPhone. Here's when it's bad. And a, and a new fridge that can talk to you. It's, that's why you have those things. I agree with that part, but I disagree in that. What What's bad about the hierarchy is when you have tiers above you and those people are actively working to keep you down oh, or put you down a tier. I agree 100%. There is high, not everything is going to be perfect. We can't, like, perfect it. But I believe that capitalism is just the best of the worst. But, yeah, you're right. There, It's good to have different people like liberals and Republicans because liberals, or at least traditional liberals, would try to help the people on the bottom or, like, care for them or try to make programs to help them, you know, get out of where they're at in poverty or whatever. And that's good things because sometimes the hierarchy can be, you know, corrupted. But, right. you know, it, that's why it's good to have both sides. So, speaking of that, top five point guards, <laughs> we skipped that part. We got off on the what tangent or whatever. So, just to reel you back in a little bit, top five point guards so far, only a few games in. I'll go first. Um, my top five point guards so far this year, number one, Luka Doncic. He's going crazy. He's averaging like 37, I think, something nuts. Um, number two, Stephen Curry. Number three. Ja Morant, number four, Trey Young, and number five, Kyrie Irving. And there's a lot of ways you can, you know, switch and move these around. Um, I had Kyrie might be a little bit better than Trey Young, but Trey Young's team is off to a better start, so I put him at four. I was going to say that. Well, I, I put him there. At Kyrie at four? No. Uh, no, I, I put my and then, uh, Oh, God. And then Ja at three. Really, Jaw could be at two, and the Warriors aren't off to a great start, but you got to respect your elders, so I just left him at two for now. And he, for me, he, Luca has proven that he is higher for me. Jaw hasn't quite yet. I think Jaw either has to prove or Steph have to pro- has to prove why he's not number two. So that's why I just left him at two for now. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, my, my top five point guards right now, not like so far this year, just so far this year, number one, Luca, number two, jaw, number three, Steph, number four, Trey Young, number five, Kyrie. And I just had the same logic as you do. I just think 
Kyrie's played very well, but I think Trey, because of their record, I gotta yeah. put Trey Young. Above They're off him. to a good start. Yeah, so that's about it. Which and you know it's Atlanta, so who knows? But they're off to a good start, so hopefully they they keep it going. I I like to see teams and especially teams with guys like Trey Young do well. Like I mean, if yeah, you have a guy like that, it, you know, it's it's similar to like the Mike Trout thing. Like, it, like imagine the sellout crowd if Mike Trout played in a playoff game. I know it's so it would be s- unreal. The Angels are just ruining his postseason career. Imagine if Mike Trout played for someone like the Yankees. <laughs> I think I moved the camera or something. Um, but anyway, we're gonna move over to college football. Actually, we're talking about Mike Trout. Let's just say in the MLB, uh, World Series. I think it's tied one-one. Yeah. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about was this interesting thing I saw. They basically took like this simulation that takes into account all the players in the MLB, what they're paid, every player's stats, um inflation, everything like that, right? Yeah. And they determined that Bryce Harper should have got paid 400 mil, and he got paid 330. So basically, three years ago, we're all saying Bryce Harper is overrated, overpaid, and then three years later, a computer software says he's $70 million underpaid. Well, I'll tell you this. Like I was saying the last podcast, Bryce Harper's hit his prime. Like, Bryce Harper has had, uh, obviously, a great career and he went off when he was 22 years old and had that crazy MVP year which is almost like premature but now what is he 30 29 something like that he is found like he's mentally and physically in his prime like we have I think we haven't seen the best of Bryce Harper yet he won the MVP last year he would have won the MVP this year if he didn't get hurt most likely he was off to a crazy start and in the postseason he postseason he's gone crazy He's just a guy that, with today's baseball, he's like the prototypical player that teams want. He walks a lot, and he hits for power. And his OPS is, like, always over 1,000 now. So mm-hmm. that's just kind of guys you want right now that just walk a lot, and they hit doubles and triples and home runs. Yeah. You are you, but he is him. Yeah. Bryce Harper. <laughs> Pretty soon he might end up with a better legacy than Mike Trout. Ooh, I don't know about that. Um, he's got to do for some amount of years because they came in the league at the same time and look at their career stats. Yeah, no, I just said legacy. Like if he brings if he wins a Philly World a World Series, Series. Series, yeah. But I mean, that's what sucks, man. Baseball, baseball and football are the bigger team sports between the two. Basketball is becoming even more and more of a team sport too. But no, it's making it better. That's what I'm saying. With like, with the the average NBA player getting better, it's more like teams now. Like, you just need a bunch of guys that yeah. play well. You don't – you can't just have, like, one or two well, stars that's that carry what's, you. So you know what I mean? before, right, like, imagine, like, maybe not your sixth man, but, like, and your average point guard in, like, the early 2000s. Yeah. Randomly going off for 40. Yeah, couldn't shoot the save of their life. Never happened. Never happened. But now, like – the Grizzlies, Desmond Bain could drop 45 yeah. one night, and yeah, they win by crazy. 30. It, they're better. They're more skilled. It's the evolutionary uh, evolution of basketball. Like, if LeBron wins enough, if LeBron wins one before he retires, to me, he's the GOAT. Like, for real, he's the GOAT. If he wins one in this NBA at, like, 40. Because I just I, – there's so many good young players. He looks it's, good out there. He doesn't look – Yeah, I mean, he's definitely not he's, in his prime. He's not. He's a top five player at best. Um, Athletically, it's so sad. Like, he's obviously a freak athlete still. Yeah, at 38. But when you watch his, like, highlights or something, and then watch how he moves right now, it's like a slow-mo version. Yeah, he's slower. Yeah. He's slow. So, like, and that's why it was so perfect, because they won the title. It was like LeBron's last year. Because if you watch the bubble, he's physically dominating. Like, physically, he was like, holy crap, he's still in his, like, physical prime. And I think that had to do with being three months off before they went into the bubble. And it was, like, perfect. He won his championship. He was obviously the best player on the team. And then you just have AD going to take over. And that just did not happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's all for sports. We're going to move over into the other category. Um, We got a lot to do. So we're going to start with... Halloween candy draft. 
Halloween candy hierarchy, whatever. Um, we're going to do four picks each. So four rounds. Um, all right. So Halloween candy draft. Round one, pick one. I'll, I'll let you go first. All right. Round one, pick one. Obviously, I'm going Reese's. If I get a Reese's and I'm trigger treating, I'm hype. I'm so hype. Yeah. It's it's just the best candy or best yeah. Leaf chocolate candy. So my round one pick two. I'm gonna have to go with those little packs of Sour Patch Kids, bro. Yeah, I knew you were gonna. You mean uh, the punch rolls? No, Sour Patch Kids. Oh, I don't remember those really. Yeah, there's always Sour Patch Kids, always Swedish Fish. But yeah, Swedish so Swedish Fish sucks. I'm gonna go. I, I gotta go with the Sour Patch Kids. For my uh, round two pick one. No. Round two pick two. Pick three. Round two, pick three. I'm going to go with Hershey, the little Hershey fun size bars. Those are fire. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm trying. I'm you right now. Hershey's? Hershey's? Chocolate? Yes. And that, Reese's. That, those are the bro, two most. those last, the Hershey chocolate bars last like three days. And after if that, you don't get this next at, one. No, hold on, hold on. Those Hershey chocolate bars last like three days. How? After, because oh, after that, they, they taste like fruit. Because they taste like all the gummies that are in your Halloween candy right, well, bag. I eat, I eat them night one, Reese's and Hershey's. Yeah, you got to. That's what I'm saying. All right, and all right, you go. Because if you don't, if you don't pick this one, then you're definitely losing. I I mean, I didn't think this through. I don't think I didn't either. I just know it. I took a couple of notes of my favorite ones. That's not fair. All right. <laughs> I I don't think this is the one, but round two, pick four. I'm going Sour Skittles. That's not bad. I just love Sour Skittles. I like Sour Skittles. That's not a bad pick. For my, for the fifth pick, round three, I'm going to go Kit Kats. Dang, that's what I'm, I knew. I thought you were going to say that, but you didn't. I'm smoking <laughs> you right now, dude. That's what I was going to say. I'm smoking Okay, okay, you. okay. Round three, pick six. I'm going Snickers. Okay. Round whatever, pick whatever. I'm going... Going Tootsie Rolls. I like some Tootsie Rolls. I think that's a love love or hate. Tootsie dude, rolls. the fruit ones are fire. Yeah, the fruit ones are fire. And the chocolate the, are fire. Dude, every time I saw a blue Tootsie Roll in there, yeah, so fire. And things were the so fire. Raspberry. The orange was straight. The red was good. All the, of them yeah, are good. Those are good. Like the orange eh. I don't really like orange, but I like the blue the best. No, the worst one was like banana. Yeah. Any banana flavor thing is trash. Besides Laffy Taffy's, all right. Mm, banana sure. Laffy Taffy's, all right. Oh, the strawberry lemonade Laffy Taffy is the best. Yeah, strawberry is, yeah. and then the green uh, green apple might be it. Dang, dude, you made uh, me forget. I had my last pick in my head already. I, I kind of want to switch my Tootsie Roll Laffy Taffy. My Can last, my round four pick eight is gonna be candy corn. Yeah, I smoked you. I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm not. I, I was seeing if you'd freak out. I'm switching. I'm not picking candy I do corn. Like candy corn. I like no candy. way you like candy yeah, corn. I like it Why? Lot. It's good. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. You actually would eat yeah, it? Yeah, I do. I eat it. Who? Oh. No, I'll eat it tonight. With who? My family. What, you you and your family just buy a big bag of candy corn? Well, we are in the same family, and we do get candy corn. Who gets candy corn? Dad. Dad does. Not only no. that, I'm changing my I can't. No, no, no. I, I, why do you like, you taffy. don't like candy corn, I actually. I do. I do. What do you, you eat candy corn? Yeah, it's good. Like, I mean, I don't like you just it. sit on the couch with a bowl of candy corn? No, but I like it. You'll, like, walk by a bowl and be like, hmm. Whenever we would go to that farm, Tate Farm, yeah. I'd crush some candy corn when we were, like, little. Whenever. Yeah, when you are a kid. You yeah, can I only, like it now. I ate you it can, recently. Kyle, okay, stop Kyle eating it. had a bag of candy corn. It probably destroys your stomach. I don't It's eat chalk. It. You just said you eat it. Like, once in the last year. Yeah, that's too much. You You <laughs> can only eat it. If you're like under the age of five or over the age of seventy, if you're I, in, in either of those, you can eat candy corn. If you're in between, what are you doing? I like candy corn, and I'm <laughs> I like it. And I'm changing my pick from Tootsie Roll to Laffy Taffy. So then I'll pick, pick up Tootsie Rolls. Then I'll pick up Tootsie Rolls. Okay, fine. But round my, four pick eight, I got Tootsie Rolls. All right, my not the not the original I got Reese's, Fruity, Hershey's, Kit Kats. And Laffy Taffy. I have, I, I have, I have, sou- I have Sour Patch Kids, Sour Skittles, Snickers, Fruity Snickers Tootsie Rolls. Snickers sucks. The only th- good thing about Snickers is the ice cream Snicker bars. Those are fire. All so Snickers. Actu- the Justice for Snickers. Stop Snickers hate. 
Hashtag stop <laughs> Snickers bias. Uh, top five Halloween movies. I'm gonna go top five movie franchises for mine. Okay, I'll do mine first. Like I don't even Halloween know. movie five? five. There's not even five. Yeah, there is. Okay, number for one, n- Halloween. No, top five movie fr- horror movie franchises. Halloween, whatever. Okay, no, no. Well, <laughs> top five horror movie franchises. So not just Halloween. Number one is it. I love it. The 2017 it movie is my favorite horror movie it's ever. Too. Number two, Halloween. A lot of trash ones, but there's some good ones. Number three, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, he's kind of a creep, but a good story. I've never even seen the movie. And it's scary because Only it's in your game. dreams, so you can't go to sleep, so that's scary. Number four is um, Jason. So, Friday the 13th. And number five is The Conjuring Universe, which should probably be higher, but I just got it at number five. All right. I got Halloween classics. And... I, okay, I put top five movies basically to watch on Halloween. Okay. So, number one, Halloween. Yeah. Number two, Nightmare Before Christmas. It's goaded. It's classic. I like it. Number three, It. Number four is the Harry Potter franchise. I know it's more of a fall, but it's just, for some reason, it's my most watched around the Halloween season, Harry Potter. And number five, Sleepy Hollow. I don't know if you've seen Sleepy Hollow. But it's it's goaded. I've never seen it. But yeah. it sounds really familiar. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Um and we'll end with this. We got a s we got a superhero. Who's the first to die and who's leaving the room alive? Okay. So uh last time I think we did three people, this time we're doing four. So first to die and who's leaving the room to live. One Hulk. Two Abomination. Three Thanos. And four She Hulk. This is comics, or from the <laughs> actual <laughs> not MCU. Thing. Okay, comics. so comics. Thanos without the stone. I'm gonna go. Hulk leaves the room alive because Hulk just gets more powerful as he just gets more angry. He has yeah. like a, he's unlimited. Yeah. Thanos second. Thanos is last to die. Abomination is second to last to die, and then She Hulk dies first. And Hulk leaving the room, yeah. leaves the room alive. So I'm going to do... You word it so weird. I don't know why you word it like that. I don't know how to say these things. Okay. Okay, this is what I would say. Hulk leaves the room alive. No, no, yeah, Hulk leaves the room alive. Thanos is last to die. Abomination second yeah, to so die. Yeah, so you're stop saying it like that. How am I saying Who's the first to die? Start with that. And who is leaving the room She-Hulk alive? is the first to die. And Hulk leaves, yeah, the, room. Hulk leaves the room alive. Yeah, that's how you need to say it. Okay. Instead of saying the whatever that weird thing was with your fingers. Anyway, I got the same thing. So, who's the first to die and who's leaving the room alive? Shield, sorry. You're the first to die. I'm not actually sorry, but you're the first to die. <laughs> and Hulk leaves the room alive. So, that's what I got. Um, it's been a pleasure. We appreciate all of you guys for joining. I'm going to try to post this by Wednesday the 1st. So, you'll get all this Halloween stuff the day after because why not? And then no Wednesday or would be the second. Oh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, tomorrow. I'm just gonna. It, it actually just depends. It might not be till Wednesday. So Wednesday the second, we'll just plan on that. Um, we're gonna try to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. Um, if not Friday, then Saturday. Regardless, we're getting 30 full episodes out. Um, but yeah, so one just drops today on the 31st. So we're we're in it. We're grinding again, boys. We're back at it. Don't sleep. Don't sleep, baby. It's been a pleasure. You guys stay safe. Enjoy that Modern Warfare 2 grind. And we'll see you back here um, later this week. It's been fun. Peace. Later.